The research complex. Whoa, it doesn't appear we can get back out. Oh, this is just gonna be a little room we could check. Hopefully there wasn't anything. Remember that big, like, gorge or whatever I saw? Hopefully that wasn't anything. Press F or right bumper to engage your flashlight. Uh, it's another bed. That almost looks like a lump in it, too. Hmm. Maybe we do have a concussion there, kiddo. Big ominous opening. Where are we? Something about this feels like the uh, temple level in um, Goldeneye. There is no power in this area. Find a way to restore the electricity. Okay. Right there, maybe? Yerp. There's like desks and stuff, but it's so derelict, like the ceiling is caving in, so it must have been abandoned or in the state that it's in now for a long time. So yeah, something happened after the Soviets got here. There's Mr. Skellyman. Three nights ago, I managed to barricade myself in the room. With any luck, they won't be able to get in here. Of course, all I've done is lock myself in a mountain tomb. I realize I'm near the end. The calls from the other posts have dwindled over the last two days. It's been hours since anyone has responded. I've made peace with the idea of my death, but I wish I didn't have to face it alone. So yeah, it's like a uh, like a reel-to-reel -reel, um, tape that... Um, is, is playing and our little translator is like listening to it and, and giving us a message. Lots of spools of wire. Or, yeah, like some kind of wire or something. I bet I can make use of this. What is that? Like a bomb? What do I need a bomb for? Over here. Hold on. I may have to try mouse and keyboard. Something is like really slow and juddery about using the controller. I gotta blow up this stuff? Oh god, oh god. Well, hopefully that's not a one-and-done thing. Hopefully there's more of those bombs. <laughs> yeah, Mitch says you need the bomb for booms. Clearly, Mitchell. I just boomed myself halfway across the room. Okay, so that... Wait, so it was... 
Okay. Having to refigure out the the keys. Okay, where would we want to bomb? I'm going to try that same spot, but I'm going to get the S out of the way next time. Oh. Well, that persisted. How do I put this down without activating it? Here, you go right here. I'm going to get the S out of here. So the Russians found some kind of portal that transformed the Ooh, death in the cutscene. And then things went terribly wrong. And then things went terribly wrong. So the green fire, I wonder if that's the portal. Or was that little room? Mitch is laughing at my bomb folly. Creepy. What's the point of even coming in here? There's a whole lot of nothing in here. Unless I need another bomb to put there, maybe. Let's try that. Because I've been so successful with the bombs thus far. I know you're laughing with me and not at me, sugar bear. Okay. I don't have a bomb. Hmm. So obviously we were meant to gain access to this room because it was bombable. Now I'm not seeing any reason to be in that room. I didn't see anything that was interactable. I didn't see anything that I could pick up or change. I'm not seeing anything in this rubble. Wait. What did I just pick up? What am I interacting with? What am I interacting with here? What is in this room? Aha! Well, that's kind of creepy. The virus is spreading faster now. All our efforts to contain it so far have been futile. We haven't given up hope, however, and my colleagues are working tirelessly. We're not dealing with terrestrial species, and thus there is so much we don't know. The challenge is so great, and yet we will prevail. We must prevail. Okay. Uh. So that's phantom bed stuff. This has got to be something. Ooh, ooh, you can almost see lush green area outside. So we know we're not. Yeah, all that's in our mind. And it must have been triggered by this real life object that's here. He's got to be remembering something about his wife dying or something like that. Amazing. With each test we run, her samples appear more promising. I will log more details later. There simply isn't time right now. What are these, like, neon green, like, phosphorescent footprints? This music just got serious. I 
mind is playing tricks on me. My mind is playing tricks on me. I thought for a moment I was back on Earth. After the hallucination passed, I found a human trackway leading out of this underground facility. The footprints glow green for reasons I can't explain. I took some samples but haven't had time to analyze. The footprints seem to lead out of the facility, so for now, I'm going to follow them, but with caution. What, uh, what do you got going on right now that's keeping you so busy you can't test these samples? Like, what's this guy really got going on? Either way, let us continue. Hmm, that doesn't look good. Oh, there's a door over here. Oh, it's pushing into us. Speed of a puma. Actually, I want to see it. I want to see the death animation. Speed of a puma! Speed of a puma! <laughs> Hopefully that didn't set us back too far. Alright, let's go to this one off to the side. You can do it, pal. Alright, so I imagine this is like break the fan with the Hooser Doozer. Psh, I know how to break a fan with a Hooser Doozer. They teach you all kinds of elite fan breaking skills at NASA. Yeah, maybe he is dying. Okay, so we're in some kind of big underground chamber with a light off in the distance. That's probably where we're going to be headed. But the footprints go this way. Ooh, there's a structure. Wait. Oh, it's just wire, like spools of wire. I need to find a way to turn this on. What are we turning on? Like a trolley car? I mean, I see like the rail for it, but I don't see the car, so even if we turn it on... Got it. Ah, the light's on the trolley car. Whoa. I didn't realize that we were, like, sort of outside. How do I... How do we get it to go back? Hello? Hello? Aha. I know how to trolley car. Some kind of earthquake. I really like the music so far in this game. Maybe there's a way around. So those footprints just kind of disappear into this... What well, looks like a large fallen rock. So a way around. There's a pipe right here we can go in. Some kind of cog or wheel that I'm stuck in. So can we go out this pipe? Or in this pipe? That doesn't do us any good. Yeah, I think I'm with you, Mitchell. I think the camera is really annoying in this. Okay. I see it. I see it. with our elite double jumping and climbing skills. Hmm. So over there is where the footprints came from the other side of that rock, right? Yep, and then head this way. 
Now they head that way, but I also see something over there. I'm assuming that they're going to loop around to the right. Let me double check and confirm that this is not something different, that this is just the direction they head. Yeah. Looks like they were trying to mine this stuff. I hope it isn't radioactive. I've located an abandoned mining operation. The rocks here appear to share the same phosphorescent properties of the human footprints I'm following. I suspect there's some radiation involved here. I'm not sure if this area is safe, so I'm moving on, following the green footprints as best as I can. I don't know that it's just because something phosphoresces that it's radioactive. Again, I'm no scientist. So, how do we get up to this beacon of shining light? And which pipe did I come out of? And which one do I need to go into? I sort of see like a ladder or something over here. Yeah, how do I get... Yeah, this camera's being problematic. So does that go down? Could I have just walked up some stairs? No, it broke off. Okay, okay. Be careful, we don't want to fall. Be careful, honey, you don't want to fall. Hmm. So where have we ended up? Whoa. So yeah, that seems to be what happened. It's like the Soviets built structures all over this planet that they teleported to with presumably the green fire but what happened to them? I know that guy said something about a virus, but that wouldn't kill... I mean, the place looks like a desert now, you know what I mean? Is there somebody standing up there? So now we're in a chapter called The Chasm. It looks like somebody's standing up there, doesn't it? Well, it looks like we can jump uh, here. Uh, am I going the right way? I guess. It had a very inviting, you can jump to me look about it. Hmm. That's definitely somebody standing there. So what happened? There was like a distant figure who, based on her voice, was presumably female. Then she threw up gang signs and peaced out? It was like a power station. Yeah, the music in this game is on point. Yeah, I think you're just not alone on this planet, bro. Yeah, we're gonna get over there to that power station. Aha! Speed of a poom. Uh, we'll go that way in a minute, but it almost looks like I can go up here. And if I can go up here, I should go up here. No, maybe not. Okay. Seems like an awfully like large, heavy concrete structure just to be perched on such tiny little pillars. And like, why does a structure need to be so big and heavy? It's cool looking though. Okay, so she went that way. What's this right here? 
Despite the hesitations of our scientists, I increased the KW output of our electrical generators um, by 200% without any noticeable environmental reaction. The reproductive rate of the moss-like species we call green fire appears to be quite high, and we theorize that it must also serve as a source of nutrients for other plant life on the planet. To alleviate the concerns of the scientists, I have returned the generators to normal output, but the result, illegible. Find myself wondering, illegible? Or is this supposed to be unintelligible, like it couldn't be understood? Illegible means like not eligible for something. Regardless, I find myself wondering if the abundance of power is not in and of itself a deterrent of warfare. Would our enemies lower their weapons if they knew our reactors would never power down? What level of accomplishment would they feel in their flag on the moon if all they could see looking back at the Earth was the continuous glow of the mighty Soviet Union? Nuclear weapons seems like the clubs of our barbarians compared to the scientific potential we have seen here. More families are arriving to be with the men. Our society blossoms and to an extension of the motherland, a new motherland. This is what the great writers of our age must have felt like um, while regarding their creations. Perfection. Okay, so I'm wondering if they didn't, like, blow themselves up trying to harness some kind of, like, power. That would certainly explain why everything's so barren looking. Okay, it doesn't look like I need to go over there or over there. So I guess there's nothing to do except stand here and throw up gang signs and then turn around and run off. Okay, so it looks like we need to go that way. Whip out the old trusty double jump. You can never harness the speed of a Puma Big Mitch. Uh, that doesn't look like a way. Let's see what this is. See, she doesn't have a mask on. We need to take our stupid mask off. So she's sitting up there, just straight chilling. I'm trying to take stock of what we really. I don't think we can do anything to get up there. I guess we just have to progress onward. Man, that... Why would we hear that signal standing under here? Where did it go? It almost sounded like it coalesced and clarified for a second. And then my brain was like, Oh, you have to stand in just the right spot. You have to walk around until the audio cue becomes clear. But then it just disappeared. Well, I guess we'll push forward into this little narrow canyon next time. So that's what I'm going to call it for the night. I love all of you, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.